anger is an emotion that causes you to want circumstances to be different than the way they are. Um, circumstances that occur that you want to stop from happening. So, for example, um, uh, infidelity or a job termination or someone uh, coming at you or offending you, that can cause you to become angry and it's something that you want to stop and the anger continues until whatever is creating the circumstance is removed. So a lesson that I learned from Bruce Lee's biography <clears throat> about anger um, and something that caused me to rethink what anger is, um, is one of his first fights. He um, got hit in the face and he got hit in the mouth. And when he got fate hit, he went to counter those moves and to uh, block them and defend himself and try to overcome his opponent. But when he was doing that, he was so angered that the 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 punches that he was throwing um, wouldn't land decisively or make the correct connection to get the desired effect to overcome the person he was fighting. So when the round of that fight had ended, he was told by his corner person to calm down. You're getting angry. You can win. And so when he started to believe and that he could win, he calmed down and he used that anger to, to think and to land the correct punches to overtake and win the fight. So my suggestion or my rethinking of anger from reading that is to use anger as a tool to fuel what you need to change. So for instance, if you um, were expecting money, but it didn't come, what are you going to do? You can get angry at the party that owes you or you could use the fuel to figure out how you're going to overcome the obstacle and make something good come out of it. Or something that you've planned for a very long time, meticulously put things in order. But all of a sudden, someone comes in without your permission and rearranges everything. How are you going to use this occurrence to benefit you in such a way that you don't allow anger to make you act in such a way that's going to hinder your progress, but use anger as a fuel to help you progress and overcome your obstacles until they are removed. So in other words, you're going to feel that feeling of anger, uh, feel that infuriation until whatever it is you're facing is gone. So we can use that anger for good or we can use it for not so good. So that is my rethinking of anger. Instead of you um, feeling that emotion and acting out in such a way that it becomes a barrier to you and causes you to do things that could hurt you or harm you or make the situation or circumstances worse. I want to rethink that and use it as a way to, uh, I, I don't want to use the word motivate, but use it as a fuel or use it as an energy to look at the circumstances and situations, make a plan and use that energy that anger fills us with to make something good. What are your thoughts? All right. You all have a great afternoon, and again, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments about rethinking anger. Thank you.